Hello my dear family members, today we have an exciting video for all the TCS NQT aspirants. After the positive response to our previous TCS NQT coding video, I am thrilled to bring you another set of challenging problems which was asked on 15th January TCS NQT exam in advanced section. So let's see the question. But before we proceed, I would recommend you to have the TCS NQT prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions, previous year questions and mock tests as well. So to get that, knock me at my Insta ID, instacom.com slash techno.uf, you will get it. Okay, so let's go to the question. So the question is regarding this. So John is a mathematics teacher in one of the classes of Dell's school. The class has N students. Today is their yearly exam and John is very strict on the answers. As per John, no one is allowed to cheat. He will find it out from the final marks of two adjacent students. Okay, so let's see the criteria who are cheater. So the marks of N students are mentioned in M array with index 1 to N. So please be mindful because we'll start the indexing from 1 to N, not from 0 to Okay, all of the students are seated one behind the other based on their roll numbers, which is from 1 to N. So inside an array, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are the index position, right? So 0 is the first and 1 is the behind. Okay, so this way they are uh, trading. Okay, if any two adjacent one behind the other students have same marks, then it will be considered as cheating and the later student will be removed from the merit list. The students sitting behind is considered a cheater. So I hope you understood. Let's say there is a array of values 2, 2, 3, 4, right? So the 2, 2 is the same value. So that's why the second 2 will be considered as cheater, right? That means the second position. So he will be removed and the Met and the merit list will be filtered after removing him okay so i hope you understood okay let's see the next part of the question so as the next level is the pro uh, is the process of re-evaluation which is performed by another department so another department means another function will handle this okay the re-evaluation can impact marks of k students okay and the revaluation re will update their marks and then again the final merit list should be declared okay and the re-evaluation will be in the format of xy okay blah 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 but each re-evaluation is independent and the merit list is updated after each re-evaluation okay so we don't have to uh we don't have to print anything but just we have to update after re-evaluation okay after re-evaluation the merit list is updated where the cheater is filtered out of out if there is any okay so cheater will be removed and the merit list will be filtered okay so what is your task that is find the maximum number of students that were that were part of the merit list after each revaluation only the final merit list will be visible okay so not all the merit list after revaluation just only the final merit list should be visible okay so for better understanding i will print all the uh, merit list after each revaluation okay so let's see the sample input output so that it could be more easier okay so number of students will be the first input and is let's say n is equal to 5 and then we'll take the number of re-evaluation so we'll take at first uh, k is equal to 2 and then we'll take the respective marks of each student like here we take 1 1 2 5 2 okay and then we'll get the position and the value which will be updated okay then our output should be like this for first revaluation answer is 5 for second revaluation answer is 3 so i will not print this part i will print just the value okay so let me explain the sample input output in the compiler so that it will be more easier okay so at first we will take the number of students that is 5 and then we will sorry at first we will take the number of students let's say this is this is 5 and then we will take the number of uh, re-evaluation that is let's say 2 and then we'll take the number of I mean the marks of students like 5 students so we'll take the marks like 1 then and then 1 then 2 then 5 then 2 let's say these are the number corresponding number of each students like 5 students okay and then we'll take the position which will be updated after re-evaluation let's say the position is 1 and uh, the value is uh, let's say 3 okay so and in the so as i have taken the revaluation re count is 2 so total 2 revaluation re will be there okay so at, at the first i will update the value of 1 uh, like uh, by 3 and i will update the value of uh, fourth position by 2 right so 2 revaluation re will be done 
and this one will be updated like uh, will be updated like three and all the remaining will be as it is but the fourth position will be changed by two and the remaining will be same because and here you can see that one position is being changed at zeroth position as the indexing will start from one to n not from zero right so that's why we will consider the zeroth position element as one okay so i hope you understood and then our output should be so what will be our output that is after updating the values so we can see that uh, the two are same in this case right so whoever having the value same they they, they are considered as uh, they are considered as cheater right so he is very uh, good guy okay but they are copying from him right so that's why they are considered as cheater so they will be removed and the list will be filtered like 312 will be returned i mean the count of these students that means total three students are good right so at the first uh, revaluation the count of students can be five and after second iteration i mean i mean after second revaluation the total good students will be three right why because in the first revaluation when i changed like uh, this was five right so when the first revaluation done the one is changed like three right but you can see here no one is copying from no uh, anyone right so that means all the adjacent are different right so that's why the total good students are five that's why the output is five and in the second iteration in the second revaluation i have updated the value of fourth index as two that's why we see the total two students are copying from this student right so that's why we removed those students and and we considered them as cheater and three one two the total count are the fair students okay that's why the count of total good students are three right so i hope you understood what the task is what you have to do right so let's go to the solution part before i proceed to the solution part i would recommend you to please join our telegram channel t.me slash you now and please follow our instagram id instagram.com slash techno.uf and uh, this will be very much motivating for me okay so let's go to the solution i will give you the solution in java and python both so please wait wait so let's see the solution in java at first so i have written the solution actually so at first let's start with the main function so at first we are taking the scanner class object and we have imported the scanner class then we are printing that enter the number of students so here we are just taking the user input the number of students so at first we are taking the number of students as five and then we are writing uh, printing enter the number of revaluation okay so we are number of uh, we are taking number of revaluation is two right at the first input and then we are initializing the array with the size number of students that means uh, the uh, array size is five right and then we are uh, printing enter students marks that is the array right so the array will be like uh, one one sorry one five sorry two five two right so this will be the array which will be the marks of the students okay and then we are printing uh, the starting revaluation and we are telling that enter new position and value so in which position you want to add new value i mean new uh, after revaluation in which position you want to add marks that is at the first position we are willing to add three and in the second iteration in the second uh revaluation we want to add we want to add new value at fourth position that is two right so these are the main tasks we had to do then we are calling this function and printing it okay so minute list position value and array this is taking okay so let's go to this function so this function is taking uh, i mean this function is returning an integer and this is static that's why we will not uh, create object of this class so that we can so that we can call this minute list class directly and we are taking three arguments that is position and uh, in which we will update the value and this is the new value where will uh, which we will update and this is the array in which we'll update the value and position okay so in array position minus one that means if i am if i am updating the position one value like three then this will consider the second index but the indexing starts from zero that's why we are uh, doing subtracting minus one okay so position minus one that is at the first position at the zeroth position we are updating the value three okay so if the new value is three 
then this will be updated as uh, the, the array zeroth index will be updated as three right so here i am just uh, taking this uh, taking this variable initialized as one to uh, to count how many numbers are there which are being uh, which are being uh, cheated like uh, i mean which are being uh, same as the adjacent okay so now i will go through all the elements of that array that means all the marks of the students right so i will at first i'll check if the first element that means second element right from one index element is not equal to array i minus one that means at the first zero zeroth element of array if those are not equal then increment answer plus as equal to one how why because uh we are we, we have got the students as fair student right if this becomes equal then we will not consider them inside uh, this right because uh, we will not count them we will remove them okay so that's why we are just incrementing answer plus is equal to one so i hope you understood right so in the ne next iteration as well we'll check if the third element is not equal to array second element if this is not then we will again increment plus is equal to one and we will do it so on so okay so i hope you understood what the logic or the syntax i used here right so let's run it and see if this giving right output or not okay so let me run it so what's the error that is five oh sorry actually i had to remove this okay so let me run it and see i hope this will be fine so enter the number of students that is five and enter the number of re-evaluation so total number of re-evaluation is two and enter students marks so one one two five two okay and and uh, start re-evaluation enter new position and value so enter new position and value that is at the first position will update uh what will update that is three okay and so we got that five right so total fair students are five and enter new position and value in the next iteration we are updating as a, a new value right that is at the fourth position we'll update uh the value as two so five will become this five will become two and we'll get that uh these students are uh cheater and will return three right so the output is three as expected right so you can go with any other sample input this will be same and this will be okay okay so i hope you are waiting for the python solution so let's go to the python solution but before you proceed to the python solution i would recommend you to please have the prime materials of tcs nqt and please recommend this prime materials if you already have to your friend so that i can be motivated okay so let's go to the solution in python so this is the python solution as you can see the same way the same logic i have written in python just if you if you understood the logic in java right so as you can see i have written the driver code here so at first i am taking the number of students then i am taking the number of re-evaluation and i have initialized the array or the list and then i am iterating through all the elements of n i mean i am iterating n times to take the array elements i mean the marks of each student and then i am iterating k times that means that ready evaluation times total number of re evaluation times so i am taking the position at first then i am getting the value which will be updated okay and then i am calling the function and printing the value okay so now after calling this function so the flow will start from here and it, this function is taking x as position y as the value and n as the total number of marks right and array x minus 1 position minus 1 will be updated as the value y okay and as the java solution we are initializing this value to increment if there is any fair students count okay so if there is any fair student then we will increment the count okay so who are the fair students that is we'll start from uh we will we'll iterate through all the elements all the array elements right so that's that's why i'm iterating from 1 to n and uh, checking if array i not equal to array i minus 1 that means we are checking if any array adjacent, adjacent element are equal if any adjacent element are equal then we will not count them if any adjacent element are not equal then we will increment this count so that we can get the total number of fair students right so if there is any 
any adjacent equal number that means they are cheater right if they are not equal that means they are fair right so that's why we are incrementing answer plus equal to one so that's why after the iteration after the for loop we are returning total number of students in the minute list who are fair that that is the answer okay so just i am calling this here and this is printing and this is giving our uh, expected output okay so i hope you understood the python logic as well python syntax as well so if you love this session and if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs nqt and any company that you want and please recommend this channel to your friend so that i can be motivated right i'll be very much thankful to you okay so thank you for today's session